I'm standing here with Anders Olsson, from, uh, who is a senior advisor at the Arts Council of Norway. Uh, he's here as an observer. And uh, what do you think, Anders? What's, uh, what's your impression so far of this Hack for Europe event in Stockholm? Uh, it's been really interesting. It's a uh, lot of uh, exciting projects uh, potentially coming up anyway. So uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow to see uh, the result. Uh, is there any uh, trend you've seen along the uh, among the teams that are competing here today? No, not really. It's uh, a lot of uh, backbone uh, coders, uh, not that many designers, but uh, some nice teaming up uh, uh, coming up, I think. So. I happen to know that you're originally from Sweden, but you're working in Norway now. Uh, what's happening in this field in Norway nowadays? Um, not much really, but uh, as you said, I'm here as an observer, so we have um, yeah, some thoughts and plans of doing a similar thing in Norway uh, eventually. Okay, so that will be arranged by the Arts of Council? or? Yes. Uh, hopefully, and with the, in the co cooperation with the other official uh, agencies and organizations in Norway, based on the, the same material, uh, cultural heritage material. So, so you will be using Europeana API, or yeah, or a variant of that. Uh, we have a website in Norway. It's called Norvegiana, which is based on the same code base as uh, Europeana. Uh, but bit of, uh, with a bit of a twist, uh, sort of a Norwegian twist to it. So it's probably going to be based on that or uh, uh, similar websites in Norway, Digitalt for Talt, uh, Digitalt Museum or Kulturminnesök or something like that. Sounds very cool. Uh, we're looking forward to hearing more about this. Uh, uh, thank you for coming. Great to have you here. Yeah, it's been nice. Okay. Thanks.